on you guys, it is KFJ Ministry and today we're back with a brand new video. I hope you guys enjoy my last video which was a spin the wheel challenge for $500. We had so much fun making. You guys are almost at 300 views with it which is absolutely insane. 26 likes, 2 dislikes, almost a thousand watch minutes. Guys, it literally brought my channel back up. But let's get into today's topic. So a question that is frequently asked by many people Sadly, even our believers in Christ, as they say, our Christians, is God real? Is God real? I could get really upset about this question because it's really tough to understand how people think that there's over 7 billion people on this planet that are put here with a purpose in their life to do something great. Not only preach the gospel, but do other things. Let's say they, they're going to have an amazing profession. Their family is going to be great. They're going to change something in the world. And you're telling me what people believe in, which is evolution or the Big Bang Theory creates all that? No. How's evolution going to give you a purpose? Let me explain this. People thought there was already space already in the universe, which how's there a universe if there's no God? And how's there an explosion if there is no God? Because for that explosion to occur, you need some type of chemicals. There has to be some type of fumes. You know who created that? God. God created all of that. So if you're going to tell me that it was just some kind of balloon or something that explodes, I want to change your mindset today, not in anger, but in love. I'm here to change your life in love because that's what Jesus did. He hung on the cross for who? He died for you as much he died for me. He died for everybody the same. If there was only one person on this earth, he would die for you. That's how much he loved you. We are here to preach the gospel, yeah, but we still can't even pay him back. But he loved us so much that he gave us a gift of eternal life. And how much could we ever repay him with that? An eternal life with Jesus, that, that's the best thing that anybody could ever ask for. Because we are going to journey with him forever, everlasting years. People ask, how do I know proof God is real? If it hasn't been proven already through so many instances, Think about this. Why are you alive today? Why are you alive today? Tell me. And especially, I see a lot of people who do things that they shouldn't be doing, like drugs and all that. And people that have gone into near-death experiences and came out of the hospital, that's not by the doctor only. That's by the love and the blood of Jesus Christ because he still cares about you. How do you think people get cured of cancer that live? That's because of Jesus. There is no cure to cancer. You know what the cure to cancer is? Jesus Christ. That's what the cure to cancer is. You can get a whole bottle of Jesus Christ and that's going to heal you just like this. It's not going to take hours, days. You just say the name of Jesus and you start praying and that cancer is going to leave. That's going to leave. It's going to leave the body. A lot of people believe in demons and the devil, but they don't believe in God. The thing is, I personally witness with my own eyes, people get demons casted out of them. How do you get demons casted out of you if there is no God? I've seen proof of, and if you don't believe in the spiritual world, when I was at a prayer, it was not church, normal prayer, people circle around who have their own issues, and I'm not going to name what they are because that is not my business. They start praying and things start coming out. I see people holding on to their necks, and they're alive because demons are powerful. They could kill you like this too, but Jesus loves you. That's why they are alive. The demons see the power of Jesus. They nail down. They scream in pain. You can't realize how holy God is. More proof is the book right before us, the Bible. Especially in Isaiah, when Isaiah said, there's going to be a son of God and his name will be Jesus. Many years later, there's a son named Jesus. Huge reason, example that God is real is the Holy Spirit. I am telling you, I have never felt more electrical power surging through my body when I have the Holy Spirit. And when I start praying, I pray like I never did before. And when you feel that, you know God is real. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna try to act smart with me and they're just gonna act like, give me a logical answer. Show me like a picture of God. You wanna go see God? Go have fun with that because First of all, when I said before that angels have to do things before and cleanse themselves before they could see God because they are, he is that holy. Think about us. We are sinners. You go before God, you are 
you are not living. I am sorry, you are not gonna live if you see God. He is so holy. You could see angels, because I know people that I've seen angels in person. The only place we're gonna see God is in his kingdom. And that's what we all await. I'm sorry if I can't give you a logical answer. It is crazy to believe God is not real because our father created this earth in seven days. He created all of us. He created the brain. He created how we would think, how we would move. Every animal, all these plants, the sky, everything. You really think just some random Big Bang Theory created all that? And you think some evolution created that? No. No, there is no such thing as evolution. There's an evolution basketball. That's the only evolution I know, and that exists. They sell them at Walmart for about $60. So if you want to get some evolution, you can. I highly recommend it, but that's the only evolution you're going to find. And I'm telling you, see Christ, read the word, and just study the word. Don't just skip through chapters. Just read it, study it, focus on one book at a time. Let me give you one more example how the Lord is real. You see this world, how it's corrupt and just broken and people just do so many wicked things and wicked things are looked at nowadays as cool. For example, if you do all these kind of bad things, you're considered like you're the coolest party guy that you know how to have a good time. And that's what people are blinded by. It's like they're hypnotized by the society and by this all this evil and they don't know what the light is. But then you look at the true Christians, not the lukewarms or the people that say, I believe in God. The devil and demons believe in God too, and they know the Bible, so nice try. I mean the people that constantly grow in Christ with their friends, look at them. Look at how much of a light they are. Why Why don't they curse? Why don't they do drugs? Why, why don't they live in a sinful nature? And people think, how could you be such a happy person when this world is not happy? Because God, because God makes you happy because God puts that joy in you. It is amazing what he does, because I guarantee I would not be happy. I would not be preaching today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I am going to come out with more and more preachings. And guys, it's been KFJ. God bless you, and I'm out.